artists that also do uh, color pencil. Isn't that pretty? At the pastel. And chickens. This is um, Paul's wife, Lynn. She did this painting of the alpacas. She loves alpacas and lace and something else. Hmm. This is the center hall between the two galleries, and they have this little um, china cabinet that houses note cards and some jewelry and little things that people do. Um, so if someone stops by the gallery and they're looking to purchase a little gift, I think I'll put some of my sea glass jewelry in there. But there's a few paintings hung out here as well for the show. I love Sue Perdoe. She does these very colorful uh, watercolors. And there's some daffodils. This is one of Paul's paintings, the gentleman I just met. Isn't that incredible? The detail in this is amazing. The layers of color in a watercolor painting. It's just uh, awesome. And here's a very pretty Simple. Mary is in charge of the show. She did this one, Mary Beneful. I was looking up online. Here's a nice charcoal drawing. I was looking up online um, for photographs of Boathouse Row. And so I googled images of Boathouse Row. And up popped one of Mary Beneful's paintings of Boathouse Row. Of all the artists in the world, there she was. And there's also um, photographs. This is done by, uh, it's called Blue Rust. This was a scholarship for a high school student. This was his submission. Um, so this is the other gallery room. There's some of my sea glass jewelry on display and paintings on two of the walls. This is where all the artists submit um, five by seven paintings and then there's little paper bags underneath and we do a raffle so you can possibly win a little bitty painting. One piece of my sea glass jewelry did sell the first day of the show and I'm trying to think who bought it. It was, I think it was one of the ladies who bought a fish print um, at the other show. And here's a cute little painted stool that um, one of the uh, pastel artists also does. This is lovely. Isn't that a great painting? I love the light. Um, it's done by Barbara Healy. She's one of my favorite artists. This is torn paper. It reminds me of um, the cute little houses in the Bahamas and Puerto Rico. And there's my second submission, Elephant Rock. I submitted two Elephant Rocks because I thought um, being the Westport show, they would have the greatest chance of selling. The show's been going on for a few days now. I think it's eight days long, and eight paintings have sold. But not mine. Here's a modern one. It's really captivating to look at. I like this one. I would like to learn how to oil paint like this. Swishes of color. And here's another torn paper painting. It's called a bird's eye view of the beach. And so they've done the water uh, with torn strips of tissue paper and then uh, different papers. They must have found something it had these little umbrella-like features. And the road is done as a map, and the trees are done in different greens. I thought that was very clever. This is something called encaustic wax. I don't know. Encaust hot wax on fabric. And it's, it's modern. It has a real twig some uh, rusty pieces, some copper pieces embedded, and there's wire and real leaves, 
I don't know how long a piece like this would last, but it's interesting. And here's another interesting one. In person, I don't know if it shows up on um, uh, on this video, but this piece looks like real masking tape. It's it's painted. It's a painting of masking tape, but standing oh, five feet back, you would swear that it is a 3D piece of masking tape. And we're back to realism. Like that. And there's another bin. This is one of uh, Lynn's paintings of Paul and Lynn. Beautiful hydrangeas. And some roses in the corner. And this is the little sales table that I'm sitting at, uh, selling raffle tickets, and uh, if any paintings sell, that's where I do the transaction. Um, but as you can see, the place is empty. It's a beautiful day outside, so everybody's probably at the beach. But that's the Westport Art Group building.